And off we went, with me sitting comfortably in the bus, my leg propped up on a seat, gazing at the beautiful buildings in Seoul as we drove by. Tayo took us to a small restaurant near the Chunggechun, where Hana ordered all the things she told us about. My favorite was bibimbap with sticky black rice, with lots of spicy kimchi. Zanzibar had seafood jobche and curd apple. Tayo was waiting for us outside, and as we got on, he suddenly exclaimed, I have a brilliant idea. How's your leg? I checked. Much better, I said. No more sticks. I can walk on it now. Great! Tayo was very pleased. We're going to show you something very special. But you do need to be able to walk a little bit. I'm a witch, I told him. I can magic myself walking. Tayo and Hana were talking quietly and she was nodding and smiling. Nanny, Ganny and Boggy were getting more and more excited as they listened. You are so lucky that you crashed here when you did, Tayo said. The Soul Lantern Festival is on, and it's on my route. Let me take you there, and later I can pick you up on my way back to the bus garage. You will have a marvelous time. That sounded wonderful. And a few minutes later, Hana, Zanzibar and I were standing in the Chiongi Plaza looking at the beautiful lanterns stretching along the stream. It was magical. We walked along by the water and saw lots and lots of lanterns beautifully painted, huge and colorful and lit from inside. Just spectacular! I wondered what it looked like from the air, and I made a mental note to check when I flew home. We looked at the lanterns. Some were of historical Koreans, and some were characters in games and movies. All were beautiful! All too soon, it was time to meet Tayo and go back to the bus garage. By the time we got back, I was very tired. It had been a strange and unusual day. Crash landing in South Korea, talking buses, the hospital, the delicious meal, and the wonderful lanterns. But now it was time to sleep. Hana had prepared a bed for me on two of Tayo's seats. It was very comfortable with a mattress and blanket, and I stretched out ready to sleep. Zanzibar hopped onto the seats next to me, curled up, and went straight to sleep. Good night, Tayo, I called. Thank you for taking such good care of us. You are all so very kind. That's our pleasure, replied Tayo. It's not every day that a green-faced witch crashes into our garage. <laughs> we both laughed. I watched as the buses turned off their headlights for the night. Good night, Tayo. Good night, Ganny. Good night, Lanny, called Rogi. Good night, everyone, said Tayo. Good night, Tayo, I said. Sleep well. You too, Hecate, said Tayo. And he turned off his headlights, and we all went to sleep. Love from Hecate. Now visit Tayo and his friends. 